Hi everyone, Glia Bachmutov wants to talk about a very common question. How do you implement a hover command in Cypress to trigger CSS hover state? So I have a little example here where I have a test page called test hover. If I open it in my browser, notice what if I hover over the menu, those two elements appear. If I stop hovering, they disappear. There are two elements like this, they are implemented differently. So let's look at how they are implemented. So we can look at the first menu and notice that the menu one has on mouse over set opacity, on mouse out, set opacity zero, JavaScript callbacks. The things that appear seem to be triggered by mouse over set opacity. So there is some code right here that actually sets the opacity to show those elements. So it's not true hover. It's just when we are mousing over the JavaScript callback runs and it sets opacity to one. What about the second one? The second menu doesn't have those callbacks. So it probably implements the things differently. We can take a look at the head element to see if there are any styles. We can see that this page has styles, a uh, few CSS variables. And then we see menu two, button wrapper on hover, a true CSS hover state sets a passage to one. So it doesn't use JavaScript, it uses CSS to show those elements. So let's see how we can confirm that those elements show up in Cypress. I do have a project started, so I'm going to open Cypress and let's look at our test. So right now it just opens the HTML page. Now I have a choice of browsers to use. So by default, I can use Electron. Let's see if that works. <laughs> Come on. My laptop slows down when I record the screen. So let me move the test at the bottom so that you can see how I modify the test and it reruns. So the first thing we want to do, we want to mouse over this menu element. So I'll say sci get and to trigger mouse over, I can say mouse over and the elements show up. So I want to confirm that they show up and I forgot what are the selectors for those elements. So let me just really quickly find out uh, button wrapper. I, I can just check left one. So I'll say left one one should be visible. And I'll just say, you know, wait one second for clarity. And then we'll trigger mouse out and the same element should not be visible. It's a good idea to check if an element is not visible at the start. Okay, perfect. So let's try it again. Notice appears, then disappears. Perfect. Can we do the same with menu two? Well, and let's see. First of all, I'm going to copy the test. So what we work with a different test and I'll say only and I'll say column because this is a CSS. So instead of one, it's two and two and two. And right now this will fail because when we trigger mouse over, it doesn't trigger the CSS hover. So in order for us to trigger CSS hover, we have to send to the browser a real event not the synthetic JavaScript, you know, new mouse event, but actual browser native event, which we can trigger because this is Chrome and we can use Chrome debugger protocol and send the actual event, just like any browser like Selenium, um, Puppeteer, Playwright does. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, there is Cypress automation command that we can use under the hood. And then we can use a Chrome debugger protocol, look up the command, look up the coordinates and so on. So luckily there is already a project that does that for us. So if we go to real, 
There is a project called Cypress Real Event from a very smart person, Dmitry Kavalenka. So all you have to do, install this NPM package, I already installed it. And then we can import it in support file or even in a plain spec file. Oops, I don't need this project. Okay, so in my spec file, I'm gonna import the Cypress real world event, which gives us new commands. So it gives us real hover, which is a child command. So in our case, we grab menu two and instead of trigger mouse over, we'll just say real hover. Okay, so let's see how it works. Well, right now it didn't work. So what I found right now, this plugin doesn't work for Electron. So what I have to do instead, if I want to run this test, I have to use Chrome Canary. Oh, actually any Chrome, really. So if I open the same test in Chrome Canary, okay, check out what has happened. Let me do this again. Notice it actually shows the menu items. I mean, those elements in a menu that are only visible on hover. Unfortunately, Cypress doesn't restore the hover state, right? We can see that the elements were there and they were visible. That's why there's no cross eye icon, but we just don't show it during the snapshot because we don't trigger that state again. So this was nice. Uh, what else? Well, we confirm that that's visible. How do we trigger invisible well we have to hover over something else so in this case there is h1 title element so we can real hover over that element so notice again i have to be really careful not to hover over anything else right because notice while it's running it correctly triggers css hover and disables 